Hey, this is Nicholas. We're back again talking about formulas, and this time we're going over Sejunzatong, four gentlemen decoction, and all the other formulas that are based on it. The name of this formula is a reference to a term used in Confucianism. Junza means gentleman or noble person or person of high stature. It's basically one level below a sage. And this is contrasted with the Xiao Ren, the small person or scoundrel who's greedy and selfish. And Junza is actually a gender neutral term, so gentleman is not a great translation. It might be better to say a respectable person. And when we use the term four gentlemen, or the four noble ones, that's actually referring to four plants, plum blossom, orchid, bamboo, and chrysanthemum. Each of these plants embodies the virtues of a proper gentleman or respectable person. For example, bamboo is strong and upright. It's hollow, representing open-mindedness, and it may bend and yield, but it doesn't break. The plum tree blooms in winter, representing perseverance and overcoming adversity, and so on. And each plant is associated with a season, so you'll see this come up a lot in Chinese art. But it turns out that this really has nothing to do with this formula. It's just that there's a common phrase, four gentlemen, and this formula has four ingredients, so we put the two together. But we could say that each of the ingredients in this formula is like a junza, or a noble person. Each is gentle and harmonious, it's not harsh, and it won't really cause any side effects. So Sejunzatong is our basic formula for tonifying spleen qi, and its construction is pretty straightforward. Renchen tonifies qi, like all the qi. Baiju tonifies spleen qi specifically. Fuling tonifies the spleen and drains dampness. And Jirgansao tonifies the spleen and harmonizes. And we have an interesting Duayao pair here, Baiju plus Fu Ling. Baiju tonifies spleen qi, and Fu Ling drains dampness. So we're combining a tonifying herb with a draining herb. And this is convenient because spleen qi deficiency often leads to dampness, and excess dampness can encumber and weaken the spleen. So with this pair, we're taking care of both sides simultaneously. And just to be clear, it turns out that both of these herbs do both of these things. Baiju is both sweet and bitter, so it tonifies qi and dries dampness. And Fu Ling is both bland and sweet, so it promotes urination to drain dampness and tonifies the spleen. But overall, I think we can say that Baiju is more of a tonifying herb and Fu Ling is more of a draining herb. So like we said, these ingredients are pretty gentle and harmonious. They're warm, but not too warm, and they're drying, but not too drying. This formula is not harsh and doesn't have a lot of side effects, so that's why we call them noble ones. So that's Sejunzatong. It's pretty straightforward, and this is an important formula. Again, not necessarily because you'll be prescribing it on its own very often, but because it forms the foundation for pretty much all of our spleen formulas. If you think of all of the things that could possibly go wrong with the spleen, it turns out we can address them starting with this formula. For example, say you have spleen qi deficiency leading to phlegm damp. Well, we could add in phlegm herbs like chen pi and jirban cha, and the formula becomes liu jun zetong, six gentlemen decoction. And you can see that this is basically su jun zetong plus ar chen tong. So chen pi regulates qi, dries dampness, and transforms phlegm. And jirban cha is one of our major herbs for transforming phlegm. And it turns out that both of these herbs have a downward direction to descend rebellious stomach qi, so we could say that this formula is also good for nausea and vomiting. If we wanted to kick it up a notch, we could add in two more herbs, mu xiang and sha ren, and the formula becomes xiang sha liu jun zetong. So remember that mu xiang regulates qi, especially when there's pain, and sha ren aromatically transforms dampness, regulates qi, and warms the middle jiao. So this formula is for spleen qi deficiency with cold and damp stagnating in the middle jowl. Let's say instead we have spleen qi deficiency with sinking conditions like diarrhea, profuse menses, or organ prolapse. Remember, the spleen is supposed to raise the clear qi, so if the spleen is deficient and fails in this function, we can start with sujunzatong and add lifting herbs like huang qi, sheng ma, and chai hu. And now the formula becomes Bu Zhong Yi Tong. So like we said, this formula tonifies the spleen and raises qi to counter sinking conditions. And notice that for this one, we deleted Fu Ling. Why did we do that? Well, remember that Fu Ling has a downward direction. 
And that's the opposite of what we want for this formula. So we remove Fu Ling and we add in lifting herbs. Let's say instead we have spleen chi deficiency with dampness, and that dampness is causing diarrhea. Well, here we could turn to the formula Shen Ling Bai Ju San. So we start with Su Jun Zetong to tonify spleen chi, then we add herbs like Bai Bian Do, Hyacinth Bean, which tonifies the spleen and resolves dampness, especially for diarrhea. Yi Yi Ren, which is like Fu Ling, it promotes urination to drain dampness. And Lian Zi, Lotus Seed, which not only tonifies the spleen, it also induces astringency or binds the intestines to stop diarrhea. So with this formula, we're approaching the diarrhea from a couple different directions. We're tonifying the spleen to take care of the root, we're getting rid of the dampness that's causing the diarrhea, and then we're inducing astringency or binding the intestine to alleviate the branch symptoms. Or say we have spleen chi deficiency leading to heart blood deficiency, causing Shen problems like insomnia, anxiety, and palpitation. Well, we can start with Su Jun Zetong to tonify the spleen, then add in herbs that nourish the heart and calm the spirit, like Swan Zha Ren, Long Yan Ro, and Yuan Zhe. And now the formula becomes Gui Pi Tong, restore the spleen decoction. It turns out Gui Pi Tong can also be used for chronic bleeding conditions as well. Remember, Qi has a function of containment, so if spleen Qi is deficient, it can fail to contain the blood inside the vessels, resulting in bleeding. So if you have early or prolonged menses, or just a continuous period, we might use Gui Pi Tong in that situation. And then, even if we just have generalized qi and blood deficiency, we can combine Su Jun Zetong with our basic blood building formula, Su Wu Tong, and that creates the formula Ba Jin Tong, eight treasure decoction. If we wanted to kick it up a notch, we could add Huang Ji and Zhou Gui, and then it becomes Shi Chuan Da Bu Tong, 10 complete great tonifying decoction. Or if we have qi and blood deficiency with threatened or habitual miscarriage, we can again start with Ba Jian Tong, which is Su Jun Zetong plus Su Wu Tong, and then add in herbs that calm restless fetus, herbs like Shu Duan, Huang Qin, and Sha Ren. And that formula is called Tai Shan Pan Shi Wan. And notice that once again, we've deleted Fu Ling from this formula. If we worry about threatened miscarriage, we don't want any downward moving herbs in the formula. So that's why we've removed Fu Ling. So you can see that even though this is a very simple formula, Su Jun Zetong has a wide variety of applications depending on how you modify it. So when you're in clinic, you might not find yourself prescribing just Su Jun Zetong very often, but these other formulas that are based on it are very common to use in clinical practice. So that's why Su Jun Zetong is an important one to know. So in this video, we are going over herbal formulas but hopefully we are able to demonstrate how understanding individual herbs can help you understand herbal formulas. So if you're interested in reviewing single herbs, I have an online course that reviews all of the single herbs. It's on teachable.com, it's $40, and I'll put a link in the description below that has more information, so be sure to check that out. But that's it for this one. In this video, we went over our basic qi tonifying formula, Su Jun Zetong. In the next one, we'll go over our basic blood building formula, Su Wu Tong. So I'll see you in that one, but that's it for this time. Thanks and see you next time.